Okay, now we're going to show you how to work the, uh, the N64 emulator. So, you can use a classic remote or a GameCube controller on this. That's what I prefer. But you can use the Wiimote. Uh, God be with you. So, we're going to go ahead and plug in our classic remote. I'm going to go ahead and load this right on up. Okay, now if you know it, it recognizes the remote, as you'll see down there at the bottom left, you see is we have a classic remote plugged in. Okay, now, the first thing you got to do is you got to load a ROM here. You can't just go down to play a game because there's no game inserted into it. So we're going to click on that with A, and then we're going to go to load from SD card. Okay, you're going to give, depending on how many games you have on it, it's gonna, it might take a while to load. Okay, here we go. Now, if you wanna go left and right from page to page, you can hit the top buttons on the classic remote or on the GameCube remote, or you can just go to previous or next. So, uh, we're gonna start with a little Mario here. So, let's go over till we find Mario. Super Mario 64. All right, there it is. Finally, took all year. Been long ass list. Okay, and after it loads, it should automatically put you down and highlight play game. If it doesn't, just scroll on down. I'm going to click the A button. And we've got some Mario playing here. Okay. Now, if you have one of ours, the classic controller should be configured for you to feel like you're playing the N64 remote. So... You should be set to go. If not, you can configure it however you would like. So from here, if you want to use the save state, so if you want to pause the game, you can hit the home button. So it brings you back here. And what you want to do in order to use your save states and saves is you want to go up to current ROM. So we're going to go up to current ROM. Now, if we're going to go down to the save, low state, save state area. And as you can see, if you see slot over there, you, that means that you have multiple save states. So right now, it's on slot zero. So if you hit the save state right now, it's going to save it in slot zero. So we're going to click on that. Now, it's going to tell you it'll be saved once resumed. So what happens here is it's not going to save your game until you go back into the game. So you hit OK, we're going to hit the B button, and we're going to go to Resume Game, and it saved the game. Now, you can go, in order to load the game, we're going to hit the Home button, we're going to go to Current ROM, and we're going to go to Load State, and we're going to click on it. Now, you hit OK, and you go back. And you go to resume game. And it'll pick it up from where you saved your save state. And that's how it is to save state. So let's go and play another game. And let's show you how to save it to the cartridge. Because some games are exceptions and will not give you the ability to use a save state while some will. So an exception being, let's go ahead and load the ROM list. Long ass ROM list. Okay, now let's go to 007 GoldenEye. We're going to press A, load that on up. Okay, we're going to press A. And we're going to go to play game. Okay, now, as I said, some games you cannot use a save state. This being one. So what you have to do here is you have two choices. 
You can put auto save on the auto SRAM, which an SRAM just saves it like it's saving to the cartridge. And or you can manually save it. So what we're going to do right now to solve that problem is we're going to hit the home button. OK, now I already have the setting to automatically save on. So it, it, would, it would save me a pain in the ass if I had forgotten to save before I quit. So in order to do that, we're going to go to settings. Now we're going to go up here at the top. We're going to go all the way over and we're going to go to saves. We're going to click on that. Now we want auto save native saves to be on. Yes. You want the little green line to be under. Yes. And once that's done, we're going to go back up and we're going to go to general. Now you're going to click on general and you're going to go down to save settings. Then you go scroll down to save settings and you click on the SD and you hit a now that saves your game, so it'll auto save from now on. So you press OK. Now we're gonna go back, and so now since it's on auto save, when you load your game up, all you have to do is go up to current ROM, and click on that, and then you go up to load save file, not load state, load save file. So you press A and you click on that. And it's loaded your as if it's loaded your state from the card, and you press OK, and you go back to your game, and you go to resume game, and when you pick your profile, it should have the profile it should be where you left off at, and that's how you save games to your cartridge, if you have a pain in the ass game that won't save with save states. All right, um, we're gonna, I need to show you something else as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the home button and we're gonna go to load ROM. I'm gonna show you something here. We're gonna go to load from SD. Now, the issue here, some games can have graphical issues and that can be fixed. Other games, you'll hear sound and you won't see anything and there's a fix for that as well. Prime example, one is banjo tooie so what we're going to do is we're going to get this a while to load it's a big ass game i think it's like 20 something megabytes so for the Wii, that's that's pretty pretty big so we're going to give it a second and it's going to partially load this one as you can see it takes a little longer than mario and 007 did so just give that a second Okay, we're going to press OK, press A, and we're going to go to play game. Okay. Now, as you can see, everything's going fine. Everything's going smooth. It's a nice day. No problems. So, we're just going to press start. Or press A or start, whichever one it was to load this thing. Okay, now we're gonna pick a profile. Okay. Now we're gonna start playing this good old game. One of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna get past this and get to it so we can show you how to fix the problem. If it lets us get past it. I don't remember if you can skip this. Okay. I don't think it was skippable. I pressed everything. It's not working. So let's give this a second. Okay, there we go. Alright, if anybody remembers, this is not how Banjo is supposed to look. So, in order to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to press the home button. Okay, and we're going to go up to settings. Okay, now we're going to navigate over to video. And we're going to press the button. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down all the way to the bottom to where you see FB textures. And we're going to turn that on. Okay, now that we turn that on, you want to hit the B button, and you want to go to resume game. Now, as you can see, it's, it's, it's fixed 
and whatever the issue was. Now, this works with quite a few games that have graphical issues. Others, you just flat out will get nothing. So, it's a toss-up. So, it works with Banjo, thank God. It works with a couple of others. I tried some uh, WCW, if you're an old-school wrestling fan. So, I, I played my old-school WCW with Kurt Henning, you know. It works there. Some others, it, it's like, fuck it. It won't work. But, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you run this emulator. Um, I think I've covered everything. If anybody knows anything that I don't, please tell me something. Because this emulator is a pain in the ass. Between this one and MAME, I think they're my least favorites, unfortunately. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Enjoy, and have a good one.